I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics for You. This video is one of a series of videos having to do with the feet and um, I've been especially interested in this because I'm recovering from a left foot sprain. I sprained my foot right in this area, not really my ankle area. And in this video I'm going to be doing uh, focusing most on the movements of inversion and eversion. Uh, this guy is so hooked together you can't see it very well, but inversion is where the bottom of your foot faces inward and actually the toes are somewhat pointed down if you do a full inversion. And on an eversion, the bottom of the foot rotates so the bottom of the foot comes outward or more laterally and the toes are in a true eversion will um, will extend will come forward and uh, if if working with the toes is difficult and at least rolling of the foot so the bottom of the foot can roll inward or roll outward is very important and uh, unlike the ankle the ankle movement flexion and extension of the ankle or dorsi and plantar flexion that takes place between the tibia, the fibula, and the talus bone. But these uh, inversion, eversion movements, and I'm actually even going to add some um, adduction and abduction moves uh, in, a, in another video, those, those movements happen actually at the level of the tarsals, these bones, well the talus is a tarsal, and, and even the tarsal is allowed to move in these, but all these other joints of the tarsal bones and the metatarsals and the phalanges are all part of these rotational moves. So all the joints of the foot become very important. And then I'm going to integrate inversion and eversion from the foot. I'm going to integrate it into hip movement and then eventually into pelvis and full body movement. You'll see it as I demonstrate. I'm going to be doing these moves from lying on my back. I'm going to start with my right foot. It was my left foot that I injured. And I'm going to start with an inversion, eversion alternation. Sometimes I repeat one movement three times and then the other movement three times. I'm going to alternate this time, and I'm using the self-pendicular uh, technique of contract, voluntary contract, and slow controlled release using the motor cortex of the brain because that is the greatest technique I've ever found for releasing chronic muscular contraction, general muscular contraction, and just getting that tightness out of the, the muscles. So I'm going to start with E version of my right foot. I'm going to let that release slowly and move into E version of the right foot. The bottom of the foot is rolling outward and the toes are extending. And then let that release. So I'm going from inversion, slow release, to E version slow release, inversion, slow release, eversion, slow release. And I'm just doing what I can do in comfort. And now with the foot that I sprained, I'm well on, on into my healing. I'm not completely there, but it's been a few weeks since I injured myself. I'm going to start with inversion, release, eversion. I have to be careful on eversion, not so much of the turning of the bottom of the foot outward or laterally, but bringing my toes forward and up. That I have to be a little careful of. I can feel it, so I'm just going with comfort. And inversion, release, and eversion release, inversion, release, and eversion. 
release. Now I'm going to combine the foot movements with hip movements. So I'm, even though I'm flexing my knee, I'm really going to focus, aside from my feet, I'm going to focus on my hip. I know I'm in my hip because my pelvis is remaining steady on this pad. In the move after this move, I will actually be incorporating my pelvis spinal rotation all the way through my whole body, even my arms and my head and neck. So this is inversion in combination with hip movement. So I'm going to invert. I'm going to flex, let my, flex my hip, let my knee externally rotate and release back down. I'm going to evert, flex at the hip and knee with some internal rotation. I'm staying at the hip and let my foot come down. Inversion hip flexion with external rotation, eversion, knee and hip flexion with some internal rotation. One more time. I'm starting at the foot and climbing up into the hip. And now I'll demonstrate that with my left leg and foot. Inversion, knee and hip flexion with external rotation. Eversion, being a little careful, just staying within my comfort zone with knee and hip flexion and internal rotation. Inversion. Eversion. Inversion, eversion. And now integrating throughout my whole body in a turning or twisting fashion. Inversion and letting it climb through my whole body, but organizing it from my foot up. Eversion. Inversion, foot up. Eversion, foot up. Inversion. Eversion. Inversion. Eversion. Inversion. Eversion. And I'm just going to rest. These are quite sophisticated movements. And it's fine if you're not ready to do the full inversion or eversion pattern all the way through the spine. But do start practicing at your comfort level, being able to turn and rotate the bottom of the foot. I hope you try these movements. Thank you.